Hi, this is Kanu Babu. This is part 19 of the Travel Biz Project. In the last class, we discussed about admin will um, how to add the bus destination points. Now here, when admin will select the service number and destination name and click on add button, it has to insert the here you see here we have one table called bus destination table. Within the bus destination table, we have two columns: service number and DID. Now when admin will select the uh, bus here uh, and uh, when he select the destination name here for example if the uh, destination points for SV underscore 1 which is traveling from Hyderabad to Vizar are Hyderabad, Vijayawada, Rajamandri, Thuni and click on add button then I want to insert uh, SV underscore 1 and uh, the DID of Hyderabad similarly SV underscore 1 DID of Vijayawada SV underscore 1 DID of Rajamandri SV underscore 1 DID of Thuni in bus destination table. I hope you understood. We will do that screen now. Right. So initially when user clicks on add button, I, I need to catch the service number from drop down list 1. So here double click on add button and uh, we will do one thing. Here already we have written the code to catch the service number. I will store the service number in one session variable instead of writing the code. Session of SV number is equals to SV number. So we can use that value anyway throughout your project. Is it clear? So I will access that service number when user clicks on button 1. And at the same time, now here whenever user check the checkbox and click on button control, I need to write the code. So here you see, I want to write the for each loop. For each. So initially we must know about for each loop. So actually for example, here I will declare one array. So here I declared one array and if you observe clearly, I had declared one string array of uh, size 3. So whenever you declare an array, an array will arrange the values in this format. Always index of the array will start from what? 0 and this is 1 and this is 2. Right now here, um, the name of the array is I have given as yes. Now how to work with for each loop? So yes in item. So what are the values that are available in yes? Each and every item, first the index number 0 value will store in where variable which is a what type, uh, where type, where is an anonymous type which can store any type of value. Now this item consists of what, a, 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 a. now I am printing the a. Next again the pointer will move to what, next position. Now again the second value will come to item, as we know that variable can store only one value, now item consists of bbb, so it will print the second value, similarly third value. Similarly, I applied this for each loop concept here within the grid view. So for each grid view row in grid view one dot rows. So grid view is nothing. So here you see, I have written the code grid view row row in grid view one dot rows. So here grid view is nothing but what uh, uh, collection of rows. In grid view each and every index value can be identified by using uh, each and every row can be identified by using index number. Is it clear? So here you see, for example, if uh, five rows are there, always index number start from zero. Now, this the number of rows that are available within the grid view is 5. Now, what will happen? The first row, the entire first row values will be stored in row variable which is of grid view row. Here, actually grid view row is a class and row is an object of, object name of grid view row class. Is it clear? So, here row consists of what? DID underscore 1 Hyderabad. And in that row, we have to catch the checkbox control. And we need to check whether the checkbox is checked or not. If the checkbox is checked, then we have to catch the DID of Hyderabad. And then we need to insert that DID and SV number in my bus destination table. I hope you understood. So, we will write the code for that. So, here uh, I, I need to catch the checkbox control that is available within the grid view control. So here you see checkbox chk is equal c1 is equals to checkbox of row dot find control of checkbox id. So here you can see the id of the checkbox control. So go to the source code uh, of um, add bus destination points dot aspx. There you can see somewhere asp column checkbox id is checkbox one. So here you copy the id and here you paste it. And then we need to check if the checkbox is checked or not. So if c1 dot checked is equals to true 
now i need to catch the label is it clear i need to catch the label control of did so here you see what is the id of the label label 1 go to the source code and copy the id and here you can catch the label how to catch label l1 is equals to label of label of here row dot find control of what is the id of the label label 1 now i want to catch the value that is available within the label so here i will declare one variable string did is equals to l1 dot text once you check the output so that you will get some idea here you see when admin will select hyderabad and vijayawada and click on add button now here you see now i will press f11 now here how many rows are there in your table here you check in your grid view control five rows are there within that space and now the first row will come so what is the first row the index number is zero and in that row i am catching what checkbox and the checkbox is checked or not checked true now i want to catch the label what is the value that is available within the label did underscore one similarly i am catching the second checkbox second row second row is not checked so it is false so third row it is checked so did underscore two i hope you understood now what i want to do i want to insert the value in the table along with did so here to insert the record i need create a stored procedure so here i want to create a stored procedure create procedure proc underscore add bus destination point press of five is it clear now initially i need to go to the data data access layer and here i have to declare one region add bus destination points and i declared one method step number one create the connection open the connection pass the procedure mention that we are working with stored procedure and uh, here i need to set the values here i have to give did and objbo dot did is it clear so build the solution similarly go to business logic layer and uh, add one more method so within the business logic layer i declare one more method add bus destination points and uh, business logic layer will interact with data access layer so we are calling that method here now again build the solution that now here presentation layer will interact with uh, business logic layer so go to add bus destination points dot aspx and uh, here within this button double click on the button control and within this button i need to write the code so here actually we we have stored the service number in session variable but the problem is as we hear the while loop is available always the last service number will be displayed so here the session will not work i hope you understood so i will delete this code and here you save so i need to declare one variable something like string s is equals to and um, i will write something like drop down list one dot selected item selected item dot two string so the total value will come now i want to use split method here s dot split off s dot split off slash the written type of split method is string array so store the result of the method in s1 so here you see uh, here so for example if i am selecting the uh, item in the drop down list one let us assume the item uh, value is sv underscore one slash hyderabad slash vizag now when we split that uh, value your value will look like this in this format in the form of string array here you see sv underscore one hyderabad and vizag and uh, uh, i want the service number so that is at the position of what zero so i store that value s1 of zero i am storing in where service number i hope you understood now here initially you go to your uh, table that is bus destination table right click and uh, there are two columns are there now here press f5 and check the output and here you see uh, presentation layer is interacting with business logic layer so i am calling that method once press f5 and check the output admin will log in with his username and password and admin will add the bus destination points isn't here clearly yes we underscore one the destination points are hyderabad vijayawada tuni rajamandri why i given hyderabad i will clarify that one later click on add button now here you see press f5 now go to your bus destination table execute sv underscore one d1 
s underscore d2, s underscore 1, d3, d4. Similarly, here I will go to the page number 2. In page number 2, Annavaram and Vizag. Click on add button. And here you press sub 5. So here you go to your database and check whether records are inserted or not. So what is the meaning of this? The bus which is traveling from Hyderabad to Vizag, the service number is SV underscore 1. For SV underscore 1, the destination points are DID 1, DID 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. It means for the SV underscore 1, the destination points are Hyderabad, uh, Vijayawada, Rajamandri, Thuni, Annavaram, Vizag. I hope you understood. Right? Try to concentrate on this uh, code. If you want, I will uh, show you the flow of execution once again. Here you see. For example, I want to add the destination points for SV2. And um, here you can see. I want to add the destination points for SV underscore 2. And here I will select Hyderabad, Vijayawada, Rajamandri, Thuni. Click on uh, add button. Here you see. Now, uh, first row. Whatever the row that, we, that is available in the grid view, the first row will be stored in row. And the checkbox, it is catching the checkbox control and checking whether checkbox is checked or not. And here we are catching the label. And the label under text we are catching the DID, DID underscore 1. And then we are catching the service number. The service number of first checkbox, first row is SV underscore 2. Now, presentation layer is interacting with business logic layer. Business logic layer is interacting with what? Data access layer and inserting the values. Similarly, again, uh, we are checking the second row. Similarly, vice versa, press of 5. And go to your page number 2. And here you select Annavaram and Vizak. And click on add button. Here also press of 5. And go to your database and check your bus destination table. Execute. So these all are the destination points of SV1. These all are the destination points of SV2 where the bus is traveling from Hyderabad to Vizag. I hope you understood this screen. Right. So for more videos you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.